This is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. I have another exciting episode for you today. We're here in Chicago, Illinois, on a field trip. We're at uh, West 46th Street and Bishop at The Plant. And The Plant is actually a place that grows food underground, actually, in the basement at present time. This is actually an old site of a meatpacking plant. So I think it's pure meatpacking. And they used to, I don't know, uh, basically pack meat, uh, smoke meat, all kinds of stuff. You know, I've never thought in my growing experience and my growing teachings and teaching people how to grow food, I'd be coming to a meat packing plant, especially an industrial meat packing plant at that. Anyways, this building was built in like the 1920s and then about 2006, it was believed they were shut down through the USDA because I know, I mean, it's a pretty old building. So because it was shut down, it was available for sale and then it was actually purchased and there's a lot of resources inside that building that can be reused I mean, it was a USDA a certified facility for many years, including like stainless steel and all kinds of different materials on the inside as well. It's also very well insulated. The guy that bought the building has real great goals for the building. He wants to basically turn this and make this a uh, net zero energy. So basically he wants to produce all the energy on site with a you know, special generator and a biogas digester. And uh, that's gonna be really impressive once it all gets finished. But right now they're going through the deconstruction and reconstruction of the building into different areas. So there's going to be many different areas of the building. Uh, this is on a three acre site. The yard behind me, you could see, uh, is going to be all raised bed and uh, hoop house gardens and row crops. In the future, they're going to add a greenhouse on to part of the uh, building and they're going to then rent out like commercial kitchens to people and they're going to have other areas that a brewery is going to rent out in either another area that's gonna be for other companies growing hydroponically and growing indoors. So I think this is a great vision. What I'm here today to do is to go on the tour that they give. They give the tour on certain days of the week, it costs 10 bucks. You can come see the place, walk through an old uh, meat packing plant, get to see some of the work that they're doing, but also see some aquaponics that are growing on in the basement. And that's what I'm primarily interested in today, aside from the goals that they're gonna do, which is amazing. They got some stuff growing and they're going to be growing hopefully a lot more really soon. Anyway, let's uh, head into the building and go on that tour. When you arrive for the tour, while you're waiting for the tour to start, you'll be in this little area. And in this area, they have a whole bunch of the different plans and mock-ups of how things are going to go here in the different areas of the plant. This is actually their yard area, which they hope to turn into uh, basically edible vegetable gardens with a uh, hoop houses to grow in the winter time. So the tour is about to start now and I'm not allowed to film on the tour, but I'll come back at you and share with you the growing areas and some of the things uh, about the tour that I've learned here at the plant. Well, on the tour, you'll get to see many different areas of the plant or this old meat packing place. And it can definitely be a little bit spooky in some of these areas. And you'll hear about all the different plans and different things they're gonna do with this old meat processing plant. Next, let's head towards the light. <laughs> let's head downstairs to see where they're actually growing some food on site. Let's head downstairs to find out what's happening down here. Now, once again, this is an old meat packing plant. There's uh, many areas that are currently uh, being uh, refurbished, <laughs> uh, you know, from its intended use. And this building is actually lit cold and I'd probably use that word dank that I don't often use. But uh, here's the door that leads to the aquaponics system. And under aquaponics, what that basically is, it's a combination of aquaculture and hydroponics. And it's a system that actually works fairly nice. You can see it over there. They got the main growing area there, and then they got the fish up in here and a tank to settle out the uh, wastes. And uh, we'll look at that in a second. But before that, I want to show you guys over here. I think they're using two different kinds of fish here, one of which is uh, tilapia. And this is just a fish tank here showing what the tilapia look like. They like to hang out in the, uh, the cover of the PVC. And uh, I guess when the tilapias are breeding, they uh, put the little small baby fish into a small aquarium here because if the tilapias are babies and they're not big enough, they don't work properly in the system. They'll go down the drain or something weird. So uh, that's some small ones in there and uh, natural algae there in that fish tank. How the system works is based on the fish. The fish produce waste. The waste is then filtered in this section and the filtered waste goes over to feed the plants. 
and then the clean water after the plants take out the nutrients go back over into the fish big fish tanks and these are actually uh probably about i don't know 300 gallon approximately totes and uh, you could find these totes actually on craigslist uh depending on where you live for about a hundred bucks so uh they're just using these totes they're already basically ready to go all they needed to do was to uh, cut out the tops of them and you can see here they just cut out the top and they uh, put some uh, PVC piping and tubing in, uh, you know, hooked up to this uh, network of piping to uh, pump water through it. And you can see all the fish down in there. And uh, there's a certain number of squid fish you're supposed to put per, you know, gallons of the tank. And I'm not exactly sure how much that is. It looks like they're trying to feed the fish some of the uh, greens they grew but the fish are expecting the fish food. And that's the uh, one component that they're currently bringing in fish food to feed the fish, although hopefully they hope to grow their own fish food and use spent grains from the brewery that'll be on site. Uh, in this one, here's a smaller fish. And over in this one, uh, some more fish as well. And you can see they have just banks and banks. This is where an elevated platform with banks and banks of tanks uh, you know, so once again, this side was the side with the fish, and we can twist over to this side, and this is the side where they are actually filtering the water. So the water probably goes up into this top thing, and then it uh, gravity feeds down into this next layer, where there is some kind of filtration media, which we can't really see too well, and goes into here, and the water is then uh, filtered out. So all the solids remain in these tanks. So the water goes into these pipes. And these are the solid water from fish tanks one and two. And you can see all the piping around here. They have little uh, ramps over the piping. And the piping then goes into this big, large growing area. And uh, basically in this growing area, they're just using some simple rafts. So this is like uh, some foam here that we can lift up. And you can see all the roots down below there. These roots are absorbing the nutrients from the water. And uh, then they're growing all this. And all this is arugula. I mean, this is literally like Man, it's pretty large, maybe 12 feet by about 36, 40 feet long. And uh, all this arugula growing here in the basement underneath fluorescent tube lights. Now to me, as an outdoor gardener, uh, these plants look a little bit anemic. You know, they could be a lot more darker green. And you know, they are currently developing and working on this system. And they strive to improve this system to get the healthiest plants possible. And also make this system, you know, a system that's gonna work and be sustainable in the long run. Because they are in a warehouse and in the basement, they have some fans going to keep air circulation. Air circulation is very important to keep the pests and things like mold, you know, from uh, latching on and growing. You can see this growing area is just built out of two by fours and some four by four posts and some plastic and some plywood underneath there. This is just basically a box with an open top and then they put some uh, plastic in there and uh, just, uh, Stapled or nailed it down to make it waterproof with all the uh, piping and whatnot. And this is the water that's coming from the fish tanks. And you can see in this one, they're using some LED lights. Now that may look pretty interesting on the camera there. And over in that area, it looks like they got some uh, dinosaur kale, some kind of other brassicas, and uh, things like arugula growing really well. And uh, the LED lighting looks like it's doing a lot better than the fluorescent lighting, especially by the size of that dinosaur kale. Uh, it's probably pushing two feet tall right there. This is their seed starting area. Uh, to produce this much arugula, they have to have lots of plants started. And they're doing it right here underneath the uh, LED lights. Now the LED lights are a more efficient way of lighting. These are actually the uh, glow panel lights. And uh, you can see here, they're just uh, seeding all this in, I think, a hydroton and core, coconut core mixture. And uh, these guys that get started in here, and then uh, soon enough, they'll be moved over in this whole uh, styrofoam flat over to the other side when they're ready. So this is a kind of conveyor belt system. They'll put them in here as babies, and, as, and then they'll harvest from one end, and then they'll just move all these down, and then I'll just continue to grow on a revolving kind of like system. We're finally done with the tour and I'm headed out and you know I've had a great time and experience sharing with you guys what they're doing here. Uh, you know it's a really nice day here in Chicago today and actually it's a lot nicer outside than it is inside. Once again that building is like three inches of insulation 
on the walls after the brick then there's like insulation because that was an old meat packing place they kept it real cold actually so uh, they're doing some great work here they have actually a real large vision not growing so much stuff yet but hopefully in the future they'll be growing a lot more stuff if you're in the Chicago area you might want to come by and do a tour of the plant to see their long-term vision but also see some aquaponics going on in the basement this is definitely a unique place and I wish them the best in the future and I definitely want to come back in about five years when they're all finished and they got it all built out this place is absolutely going to be amazing and I believe this is an excellent use or reuse of old industrial buildings here in Chicago and also around the world. Once again, my name is John Kohler with GrowInYourGreens.com. We'll see you next time and remember, keep on growing.